breakthroughs in science and technology, advancements in business and beyond. Join us as we educate, enlighten, and entertain. This is Innovations. Hello and thank you for joining us on Innovations today. I'm Ed Begley, Jr. At present, heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. As science and technology continue to advance, so do the treatment options available. Learn more next. In the fight against cardiovascular disease, medical imaging is crucial. For more than 50 years, echocardiography has been the most widely used diagnostic test for heart disease. As many of you probably know, the ultrasound is what is used to look for a baby or a fetus in a pregnant mother. But that same technology can be utilized to look at the heart muscle. It can be utilized to look at the activity of the heart. It can be utilized to look at the valvular structures. And because echocardiography is very, is non-invasive, is safe compared to radiation or any other techniques, plus it's also portable. There's actually examples of individuals taking it to the top of Mount Everest and scanning people. So it's a ubiquitous technology that allows us to look at the entire heart in two dimensions or three dimensions and get an idea of what is happening to various segments of the heart. New technologies are helping to overcome the increasing complexities of cardiovascular care. There are complexities in the use of ultrasound because patients come in all sizes. They come in all shapes. Some of them tend to smoke. So if I think back 15 years ago and we were using that ultrasound machine, the technology was not clear. This was not, there was a lot of noise in it. And that technology has evolved such that the same, same patient, we can now get much clearer images. But to overcome the complexities, it's not just the technology, but it's also the art of how to obtain images. And that art requires positioning the patient. Sometimes we will even look at the heart from back of the chest in people who have fluid. And we use any of those or all of those modalities to help get the best pictures and overcome some of the technical limitations. The GE team in Norway has been leading innovations in medical imaging for over 30 years, and uh, starting with uh, Doppler and the measurements of blood flow. I mean, recently we introduced a new groundbreaking platform called C-Sound, on which we're now building our cardiovascular ultrasound systems. This technology has opened up all kinds of opportunities to improve image quality. With our latest release, we're able to deliver exceptionally high image frame rates which really provide better image quality with more detail, allowing for richer visualization in both spatial and temporal resolution. The better image resolution, if we can get that information in three dimensions and four dimensions rather than two dimensions, it will enable me as a physician, my colleagues as physicians, to make more accurate diagnosis, more specific diagnosis, and will also eliminate the need for additional testing. In addition to excellent image quality, cardiovascular care teams are looking for ways to save time and help them focus on critical cases and advanced studies. We are now able to more accurately diagnose things like structural heart diseases, that is diseases of the valve, and that diagnosis is very important because the treatment options for those diseases have changed. You don't need an open heart surgery for that. You can do it with catheter, but the journey begins with more precise diagnosis. The other thing that we have seen is that workflow is very important. And with some of the new technologies that have been introduced, we know that we can take that patient's time make more efficient use, still get the same diagnosis or in most instances, better diagnosis and things that we couldn't do before, such as look at the heart in four dimensions or three dimensions, we can now do it. It's almost like you are reaching out inside the patient's body, taking the heart out, looking at it, turning it around, turning it upside down, putting it back in. And this is as real life as you can get with a non-invasive ultrasound technology that was not there five years ago 
even two years ago, but with all the technological advances, that's available to a clinician today. GE Healthcare continues to develop technologies and innovative tools that help physicians make diagnosis and determine patient care plans. Ultimately, this helps the physician to deliver better patient care and achieve better patient outcomes. For example, our C-Sound platform has allowed us to develop and easily implement algorithms that ensure high volumes and exceptional image quality. This will assist in the visualization of the heart's anatomy, as well as automated features that measure and quantify the heart's wall motion and saves time. Our vision is to reduce clicks, repetitive tasks, and image processing time, ultimately reducing work and getting to a diagnostic decision faster. FlexiSlice has been shown to be a critical feature in the structural heart repair. It is an intuitive, interactive tool that helps quickly extract two-dimensional images from a 4D volume. For example, our 4D Auto MVQ assists to rapidly visualize and quantify the heart's mitral valve. These are just two of many of the new tools coming from GE on the horizon. As the challenges of cardiovascular disease continue to escalate, care providers are increasingly counting on technology to help them concentrate on evaluating critical cases and delivering what matters most, high quality, efficient care. People across the industry are looking for simplification, automation, and of course, improved image quality metrics. GE Healthcare's algorithm-based system platform allows us to continue advancing a machine learning plan to address these needs and continue to support better patient care and ultimately better patient outcomes in cardiovascular care. For more information, visit vivid.gehealthcare.com. We're glad you could join us today. I'm Ed Begley, Jr. I'll see you next time.